Hello, hello, today I'm going to show you where to find the OBD2 support and how to delete failure codes on your Suzuki Swift. We are standing on the left side of the car and open the doors of the driver's side. And there it is, the interior. And here you can see the paddles. This is acceleration paddle. And if you're going about 30 degrees, up, then you can see the OBD2 dock. There, there we can dock our device easily. But first, we have to rotate the plug in the right direction. Good job. Now get it in position. You can see now the power supply comes from the car itself. But first, because we are going to uh, load some failure codes or have to see what failure codes are inside the car electronic we have to get the ignition on you do not have to start the engine so now now we are entering into the system by using the agnostic way push ok then we are going into it if you like to get some live data your engine have to run um, of course so now you can see here are no failure codes. Oh, this is great. But if you have some failure codes, you can read them. For example, current DTCs. No here. Then pending DTCs. No here. Oh, this is a nice car. Permanent DTCs. Oh, nothing there. But if there are some failure codes, here we'll get some information about it. Then you can repair it. And if you repair the failure, you can erase the DTC. Job's done. Yeah. Now your codes are deleted. You can also make O2 sensor tests, onboard monitoring, etc. with some. Um, OBD2 devices. Unplug it, job's done. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me positive feedback and I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon.